this is Connie and welcome back to my coloring book obsession I'm just going to show you one book today um, I wish I would have been doing that all along just showing you one but um, I've only got two left after this one to show you so I don't know I might I don't know what I'm going to do um, I have to decide I will probably if I can get my other camera to work I will probably uh, start doing a little bit of coloring every week and showing you what I'm doing. Uh, I don't color a whole lot every day. I haven't colored hardly at all this week. I don't even know if I've done any more since the last time I showed you because I've just been so wiped out this week. Um, haven't felt the best uh, dealing with a little bit of stuff going on with me and my mom and and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of depressing me a little bit. But you know, I'm happy. I got a job. You know, my job is going well. Stuff like that. So, I'll be okay. It's just, you know, a little thing that I'm dealing with. So, anyway, the book that I'm going to show you is Creative Expression Volume 1, Living Colors. Quality coloring for adults. A bouquet of beautiful images for you to color. Color your cares away. And that is the front cover of that. Uh, and the back says... Color your way to a calmer life. Take a healthy time out from your busy day to unlock your creativity and focus your mind. 39 beautiful images await you. Let your inner artist make them uniquely your own. The pages are perforated so you can easily remove your artwork to display it or save it in a special scrapbook or portfolio. Which I will do. Um, and this is what the back looks like. I am going to do that um, to put it in a portfolio or something but I just haven't got around to it yet you know and with working so much right now um, the inner cover shows you the color wheel and stuff there's the first image so pretty isn't that pretty that's going to be really pretty colored and it is single sided but it does have a saying on each side And these are just all like um, flower, but they're, oh, that's pretty. It's not what I'm into right now. Oh, I love that one. I actually love that one. I love that one too. See, I love all the little sections where you can color. You know, it's just more my style. These look like, this book really does look like it'd be fun to, to color though. Look at that one. Almost, it reminds me of like poinsettia. So you could use the different pinks and the reds and um, stuff like that. pretty and there's more of my style right there I just you know I don't you know some a lot of people and I watch them um, color where they blend and they you know it takes them so long to do one leaf you know, um, but they color a lot longer than they do too. I mean, I only color maybe half an hour at a time because I get bored very easily, except for when I'm reading. I don't get so bored doing that, but I get bored doing this. I don't know why, because I do like, I love to color and it calms me. And especially when I'm having a really bad day, doing this for a half hour, calms my mind and makes me focus on on something else besides isn't that pretty besides the bad stuff going on in my life you know so how's the weather where everybody's at Ooh, I like that um, it has been 
close to 100 almost every day this week and we have such terrible humidity I mean we're at like a hundred percent humidity a lot in the summer and that's what makes it unbearable is that humidity you know if it was just the heat you could stand it you know I, I haven't even gone I've gone outside and sat one time and that was like at five o'clock in the afternoon um when it what isn't so bad but oh my god I can't stand that heat I get so hot I mean I work in a kitchen I'll you know if somebody ooh I love that if somebody wants to eat I work in a kitchen so it it gets unbearable in there and I sweat so dang easy anyway that I know most of my eyebrow stuff is gone by the time I get home because I'm mopping my forehead. Okay, this is the last picture. And there's the, shows us some other books by them. But this is Living Color. I will show you my book that I'm doing. You know, I'll know that I'm doing this one. This is my favorite book I've ever had. And this is what I'm doing. I don't know if I've done any more. So I think I have maybe since I talked to you last. I don't think that I did a lot of this page the last time I was talking to you. But it won't take me much to finish this. And I'm using these ones here that the ones that I have left that, that didn't leak. This is what I'm using on this. I'm just going down the line. I'll show you these. Um, this one here is also coming apart down here, which really makes me mad because I really wanted this because of the case. But this is how it opens. That one's backwards, so let me... This is how it opens like this. And I've put extra... Some of my extra pens in from another kit um, that just to fill up this case because I love 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 this case okay anyway that's what I'm using on this so that is my obsession for coloring books this week and I will figure something out once I'm done what I'm going to do for the rest. You know, like I said, I've got another camera. I will try to maybe hook that up to a small desktop, um, um, what you call it, and um, film myself coloring, you know. But like I said, I only color like a half an hour at a time. So so I don't know if you guys get boring, bored or not. But we'll see. Um, I will do whatever you guys want, and, and you guys have said that you would like to see me color, so I'll talk to you later. Bye.